Hi everyone, it's Dora here. Sorry about this. Um, it's a very sunny day, it's very hot. I might have to take some breaks to turn the fan on and open the windows for a minute. But anyway, I am starting a new series today and yo, something really needs to happen with um, how much makeup I am consuming. I did really, really well last year. Um, I was mostly on a no buy, low buy, and I finished December 2021 with 82 total items. Now today, and we're in the middle of August, I have got 116 items. So there are 34 more items in my collection. We know that more than 34 items came into my makeup collection because there were declutters and there were empties. And this is getting out of hand for someone who was so dedicated to reducing her stash in 2021. I've really let it get out of hands this year and I'm not proud of it. It was fun. Sometimes it's very short lived. There have been gift with purchases that I don't enjoy, but here we are. Anyway, I need to just curb my shopping, my makeup shopping. And for me, it's less about how much I'm saving because if I was to make a budget, I just know that I'll find tricks to just shop sales, go into the drugstore, you know, just buy cheaper items and end up having more rather than just a few high-end items, which is what I used to do back in the day. But anyway, I kind of want to come back to that where I'm not just impulse shopping um, and where I'm really mindfully making a conscious decision and investing in something that I know I'm going to love and enjoy um, rather than just, oh, let me pop into my local drugstore and pick up a new eyeshadow palette because I feel like it. Yes, that's fun. I don't want to just tell myself off too much for it, but, you know, there's a time and a moment where I'm going to have to say stop. Since we're already more than halfway through the year, I'm going to still give myself points, but just for August, September, October, November, December. So five months worth of points that I can spend. And I'm going to break that down with you because I also want to allow myself a little bit of buying here and there within reason. So I'm going to allow myself to gain points back but I'm gonna give you all of that breakdown now. And basically, because we're halfway through August now, I'm gonna show you what I have already bought in August. And I'm also gonna show you what I've already emptied or decluttered or where I've hit pan in August. And that all of those things are sort of counting to my total. Right, so my point system is gonna be a bit different to how other people are doing it. And I have got links to other people who are doing their own makeup rehab. And also, of course, the original creator, I've got linked in my description box below. So do check them out if you haven't already and if you don't already know them. Right, so my point system works like this. Basically, I'm gonna give myself three points per month or 36 points per year. But since we're already halfway through 2022 and we've got five months left, I have given myself 15 points now until the end of 2022. And then I'm gonna review it and keep going. I'll come to that in a minute. Right, so for any new item that I bring into my collection that I have bought myself, that corresponds to minus three points from my beauty bank. Yes, minus three. If I buy a replacement item, a genuine replacement item, because I do have some categories where I'm quite low, for example, concealers, I had to buy it for the first time in ages. So if it's something like that, a genuine replacement, that only costs me two points. If I get a gift from someone that I haven't chosen myself, that's also minus two points. If it's something that I have chosen where someone has asked me like, Dora, I want to buy you something. What are you, have you got a list, a wish list? Then if it's something from there, then that costs me three points. Just the same as if I was to buy it myself. Because like I said in the intro, this is not about the financial side of it for me. It's really about how much stuff have I actually got in my collection and how much am I bringing into my home. Gifts that I have chosen myself, of course, also include gifts with purchase because I do have that freedom to say, no, thank you. Whereas if someone gives you a gift, you're not gonna say, no, thank you, are you? 
<laughs> but in a shop, I can do that. I'm allowed to say, no, thank you. I don't want that extra item for free that you're trying to get rid of. I don't need to do that. So, because already this year, I've done that twice where I have said yes. And these are two items that I literally don't need. So three points for gifts with purchase, for sure. Now I can gain back points. For example, if I hit a pan in anything, whether that's an eyeshadow or a powder, I gain back plus one point. If I do a declutter, that's also plus one point. Back into my beauty bank balance. If I have an empty, that is plus three points back into my beauty bank. And if I have an empty eyeshadow that sits within a palette rather than a single, that's plus two points. A single eyeshadow would be plus three points because that's one item less in my inventory. But if it's within an eyeshadow palette, I still want to, you know, congratulate myself and give myself two points back. Okay, so let's talk about where am I at right now and how am I set up for the rest of the year. So I started off technically on the 1st of August with 15 points and then I bought two things at my local drugstore and that was already a hit of minus six points. Two items at three points each. The first one, oh my God, is this Revolution Forever Limitless Nude Rain Eyeshadow Palette, 27 pans. And here's what that looks like. I haven't used it yet. They had this on sale, so I was like, yeah, why not? They had the white version of this as well, which is more like pastel -y and more vibrant shades as well. Um, and I sort of opted for this one because I'm just so much into pinks and browns at the minute. Um, shimmers as well the names are kind of lame i mean there's this shade here for example called tripod vlog like whatever but yeah i haven't used it yet i'm sure i'll get lots of use out of this and it will bring me lots of joy it already has just looking at it and then i got this gift with purchase as well so this is the revolution x pride bronzer in the shade mega no mega bronzer warm this is 15 grams or 0.53 ounces of bronzer. I don't use bronzer. I am trying to, but so far it hasn't happened. Anyway, it was free, I took it. Now that I've got the beauty bank, I would have said no thank you because I knew this would have cost me three points, but hey, here we are. And then I went shopping and bought another eyeshadow palette. So this is the I Heart Revolution Pineapple Palette, which has got 18 chains and I mean wow I do like it a lot there was someone on Instagram um who like made such cute shots of it and like turned up the saturation a little bit and it made it look so much more yummy than it actually is and I was like damn I'd been looking at it online for a bit and then I went into a different drugstore that actually stocked this specific range and I was like okay let me just get it I haven't used it yet but yeah, I look forward to it. <laughs> All right, so here we are. That would technically put me at six points now, but like I mentioned, I've got some declutters and I've also hit one pan in August. So let's start with a pan, why not? So this is a single P2 Cosmetics in the shade 180 Be A Backpacker. I recently hit pan on it. It's in my duty pan, my bachelor project, so Yes, it was a miss, but you know, I still hit pan. Getting closer to finishing all 20. Not really, but you know what I mean. Here's that tiny little pan. So that gave me back one point. So now technically I'm at seven. And then I had two declutters. I'm gonna insert some pictures now. So my niece was over, I did her makeup, and then I just thought, oh, let me just gift her some of these things that she really liked. So I gave her this Rimmel um, satiny, nude, peachy, shimmery lipstick. There wasn't a lot left of it. It was actually in my rolling project pan, but I took it out and gave it to her. So that's another plus one point. So now I'm at eight. Then I gave her something else and I gifted her the Max Factor Cappuccino Nudes eyeshadow palettes. It's an eight shadow palette. I do like it a lot, but I feel like I've got all of these shades in other palettes already, like triple, you know. 
So here we are. Now I'm at nine points, right? And finally, let me share some numbers goals with you as well and what I'm planning to do with this specific system or series. I'm not sure about updates, maybe monthly. I'll see how that goes. I'm probably just going to do them sporadically as and when I've got a little bit of time. Um, I am definitely going to be traveling again before the academic year starts and before I'm back to work. So I might just, I'm trying, you know, I'm not going to go in a minus balance, but will I be able to only buy three items while I'm away? I'm not even sure. I might have to go into a minus balance and then sort of pan my way back up to zero or more. In any case, my balance is going to roll over into January. So what's also going to happen on the 1st of January 2023, I'm going to be adding 36 points to my beauty bank balance again. And then continue. And I want to talk about this again because I mentioned it in the beginning. So I finished last year off with 82 items. I'm currently at 116 and my end of year goal for this year is to finish off at 111. So 111 items. I don't know if I can make it. I'm gonna have to empty a lot. I've got empties coming up, I know that, but then I'll need to get replacements for some of them. Um, We'll see. I'll keep you posted. Let me know if you're working with a point system yourself. And I'd love to hear from you any tricks and advice of what helps you to not spend so much on makeup, to not bring so many new items into your home. I'd love to hear that because I need help. Okay. I'm sending you so much love. And if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you do subscribe and see you soon. Mwah.